Johannesburg emergency services are on high alert in flood-prone areas and South Africa has expressed concern over the slow pace of the implementation of some crucial governance and constitutional reforms in Zimbabwe. Ambosiso Wachadebe with the latest news update. Johannesburg emergency services are on high alert in flood-prone areas. This follows heavy rains that fell throughout the night and this morning. EMS has dispatched officials to areas such as Soweto and Alexander. EMS's Nana Khadebe. We are sending uh, people on the roads that we know that are flood prone. But we also want to urge uh, people that drive around those areas, Clapshade Valley, Elias Mutualegi, around the Jaskay in Alex, just to be very careful not to drive on water locals because you might not be aware how flooded the road is. The board of inquiry that President Jacob Zuma has appointed to establish whether suspended National Police Commissioner Begi Kele is fit to hold office will resume this morning in Pretoria. Zuma suspended Kele after the public protector's report implicated him in alleged corruption involving lease agreements for police headquarters in Pretoria and Durban. The hearing is to enter its seventh day. The SABC's Rulani Baloy reports. Board Chairperson Judge Jake Malloy told the hearing on Tuesday that he would involve the Minister of Police if they continued to struggle to secure witnesses. The hearing could not proceed after a union advised a witness from the Department of Public Works not to sign a statement without being subpoenaed. The witness and the union representatives then disappeared. Judge Molloy told the hearing that witnesses should realize the importance of the inquiry and must give their full cooperation. Rulani Baloy, SABC News, Johannesburg. The bodies of three men have been found at a sand mine in Makassar on the False Bay Coast. Police spokesperson Alan Lockman says the men were beaten to death. The murder weapons were found near their bodies. Lockman says they suspect that the men were killed by members of a kangaroo court. He says policemen patrolling the area came across two bodies and upon further inspection discovered the third body. Traps found three bodies that had been beaten to death at the scene. Three young black males, they are being identified by family members that have arrived at the scene and the alleged murderers are known. The police are currently still investigating. And lastly, South Africa has expressed concern over the slow pace of the implementation of some crucial governance and constitutional reforms in Zimbabwe to pave the way for the staging of free and fair elections. Disagreements between the ruling ZANU-PF and two factions of the opposition MDC over the drafting and adoption of the new constitution and the implementation of security and political reforms have hindered progress at the mediation talks led by South Africa. Mugabe's ZANU-PF claims the situation in the country has fulfilled the minimum conditions that make it possible to the elections. But President Jacob Zuma's international relations advisor, Ambassador Lindiwe Zulu, disagrees. She has instead urged Zimbabwean parties to make a priority the implementation of reforms before holding the elections. Catch our special package on the CSA inquiry on Option 7 and the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak Option 1.